May the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Let us now listen to the Word of God. The message title is, Humility, Why It Matters, in a world that often celebrates pride and self-promotion. Humility can sometimes seem like a forgotten virtue. However, as followers of Christ, we should know the importance of humility in our lives. If you want to be a disciple, you must humble yourself. If you want to follow Jesus, the path of following Jesus is paved with humility. Humility is a quality that is closely linked to the teachings of Jesus Christ. In the Bible, we are called to be humble and to consider others more important than ourselves. I'm reading from Philippians 2, 3, 4. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. Second reading is from Proverbs 22, 4. Humility is the fear of the Lord. Its wages are riches and honor and life. This is the word of God. Humility is a virtue that is often misunderstood in today's society. Many people equate humility with weakness or lack of confidence. However, true humility is a sign of strength and wisdom. It is the recognition that we are not in control of our lives, but that God is the one who holds all things in his hands. Humility allows us to see ourselves as we truly are, imperfect beings in need of God's grace and mercy. It helps us to be open to correction, to learn from our mistakes, and to grow in our faith. As we reflect on the importance of humility in our lives, let us consider how Jesus Christ modeled humility during his time on earth. He humbled himself by taking on human form, by serving others, and by ultimately laying down his life for our salvation. Jesus' example reminds us that true greatness comes not from seeking recognition or fame, but from serving others in love and humility. Questions 1. How does humility benefit our relationships with others? Humility allows us to see others as valuable and worthy of respect. It helps us to listen, to empathize, and to seek understanding in our interactions with others. By showing humility in our relationships, we can build trust, foster unity, and promote peace. 2. How does humility impact our relationship with God? Humility is essential in our relationship with God because it requires us to acknowledge our dependence on Him. When we humble ourselves before God, we recognize His sovereignty, His wisdom, and His love for us. Humility enables us to submit to God's will, to trust in His plan, and to seek His guidance in all areas of our lives. 3. What are some practical ways to cultivate humility in our daily lives? Practicing gratitude, seeking feedback from others, serving those in need, and spending time in prayer and reflection are all ways to cultivate humility in our daily lives. By staying connected to God and seeking His help, we can develop a humble heart that is open to His leading and his transforming work in our lives. 4. How does pride hinder our ability to embrace humility? Pride is the opposite of humility and often leads us to focus on ourselves, our achievements and our desires. Pride blinds us to the needs of others, makes us defensive and resistant to feedback and hinders our ability to experience true joy and contentment. By letting go of our pride and embracing humility, we can experience greater peace, fulfillment, and intimacy with God. 5. What role does humility play in our witness to the world? 
Humility is a powerful witness to the world because it reflects the character of Christ. When we live humbly, we show others the love, compassion, and grace of God. Our humility can inspire others to seek God, to follow Christ, and to join us in serving others with humility and love. Application As we consider the importance of humility in our lives, let us challenge ourselves to cultivate this virtue in our thoughts, words, and actions. Let us seek to serve others with humility, to listen with empathy, and to live in a way that reflects the love and grace of Christ. May we be known for our humility, our kindness, and our willingness to put others before ourselves. And may our lives be a testimony to the transforming power of God's love and the beauty of a humble heart. Prayer Points Pray for a humble heart. Pray that our Heavenly Father will help you to cultivate humility in your hearts, to see others as valuable and worthy of respect, and to serve with love and grace. Prayer for Wisdom and Understanding Ask God to give you the wisdom to recognize your dependence on Him, to trust in His plan, and to seek His guidance in all areas of your life. Prayer for a Spirit of Gratitude You need to ask God to help you to practice thankfulness for all the blessings He has bestowed upon you, to show appreciation to others and to live with a grateful heart. Prayer for strength to overcome pride. Ask the Almighty God to grant you the strength to let go of your pride, to embrace humility, and to experience greater peace, fulfillment, and intimacy with Him.
prayer for a transformed life. Finally, pray that your life will be a testimony to the transforming power of His love and the beauty of a humble heart. May He help you to reflect the character of Christ in all that you do, so that His name may be glorified. Remember that God is always with you, guiding your actions, even when you don't feel His presence. Take a moment to reflect on what you long for God to do in your life. Whether it's a pressing need, a burden weighing on your heart, a dream you're pursuing, or simply a desire for His presence and guidance. It is time to bring your individual prayers to Him in prayer. You know that our God is not distant or unaware of our struggles, he is a loving Father who invites us to cast all our cares upon Him. So let's approach His throne of grace with confidence, knowing that He is ready to listen, comfort, and act on our behalf. Pray. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, who humbled himself to save us from our sin. Help us to follow his example of humility in our daily lives, to love others as he loved us, and to serve with a humble heart. Guide us by your Spirit, Lord, to cultivate humility in all that we do, so that your name may be glorified. Let us share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and evermore. Amen. Say, ah. Uh... 